Hello again and welcome to the Real Ale Guide, another beer. Um, today's beer is going to be Rumney Exports. Uh, we've got quite a few um, recommendations for this, um, especially from around Wales. Um, it is a Welsh beer. I am a Welsh person, so this is a local beer for me. I'm very pleased. Um, don't know yet the colour of the beer. It looks quite quite dark, but that might be just because it's in it seems quite a dark bottle. Um normal good bottle cap on the top, just a black black finish there. And it's got the information on the back. It's Rumney Export. Um I did the Rumney Dark um a few times before this, so this is the Rumney Export. It's won a camera gold in 2008. I don't know if you can see that there. Um, so it should be a good beer. It's made from malted barley and wheat. So it's, it could be if it, it could be a wheat beer. Could very well be a wheat beer. Um, okay, let's get it open. Pour it out into the glass. Oh, it smells lovely. Slightly, slightly chocolatey, I'd say. Slight, just ever so slightly. Pour it out. It is um, a darker, darker beer. In between, you've got your golden colour beers, and then you've got your your stout coloured beers and I'd say that is in between there. It's quite a dullish looking beer but it smells wonderful. You can smell the wheat, definitely smell the barley. It's nice, really good. Not much of a head there, um, not too much carbonation. It seemed gassy when it came out but that's all quieting down now. Um, it's not clinging to the glass too much. As I said before though, that might be towards, that might be the dishwasher, where the glass has been in the dishwasher, has come out sparkling clean. And I always find if you have two or three beers in a glass, you warm the glass up, it, it, it takes better to the beer. Okay, enough of that. Give it a try. Oh, that's spot on. Oh, that is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful beer. Mmm. It's bittersweet, but it's very, very close together. Sometimes with a beer, if I can explain, say you've got your, your bitter taste over there and your sweet taste, it, it hits you the bitter taste first, then the, the follow-on of the taste moves over gradually into the sweet part, and, and then it that's the sweet follow-on. But it's very close together. It's like bitter sweet straight away, all in your mouth. Very, very good tasting beer. Um, it's five percent in the volume. It's a pint bottle. Um, it says on the back here, it's our strongest ale to date. A heady flavour from a combination of six malts, pardon me, carefully and skillfully mixed by hand, which we pr believe provides an ale of exceptional character, full bodied yet rounded, serious but emically quiffable. It just says then in um, brackets, affordable indulgence, contains malted barley and wheat. Lovely, lovely, good tasting beer. Um, I'll tell you a little bit about um, Rumney now, Rumney Brewery. Um, for over 140 years they've been brewing in the South Wales area, in the, the valleys. Um, they closed in 1978. Um, Whitbread, with the owners at the time, closed them down. As far as I'm aware, it opened then in mid-2000s, 2005 maybe. Um, as a microbrewery. Um, a microbrewery is where they produce um, 
a, a small number of um, bottled beers, ales, lagers, whatever. Um, we've got a taxation system in Britain where if you produce so many barrels, if you're a small brewery, you, you don't get taxed as much. So it's classed as a microbrewery now. So I think um, somebody's done well, really. They've come out, um, their Rumney Dark had a, a silver or a bronze, I think, um, in the camera. And now this Rumney Export has gone on and it's won the gold. So they're, they're coming on very well, this company. It's a fairly new company, but they've taken all of um, Rumney Brewery's experience, 140 years experience, and they've um, they've made some fantastic beers. I totally recommend you try them out. Um, okay, Rumney Brewery make Rumney Bitter, Rumney Dark, Rumney Export. They got Bevan's Bitter, Hobby Horse, and they got Premier Lager. Um, merchandise wise, they've got mugs, pint glasses, hats, t-shirts, and shirts. Um, so have a look at the website. Have a look at the website. It's www.rumneybrewerylimited.com. I'm going to spell this one. It's the same because it's Welsh. It's um, quite, if you're all over the world looking at this, it's quite difficult to spell. So I, I'll show you. It's R-H-Y-M-N-E-Y Brewery Ltd. Limited.com. So it's www rumneybrewerylimited.com Okay, um, they're from Merthyr Tidpool, Dowlice in Wales. Um, great iron history there um, and mining. Um, they say that um, the Rumney Brewery when it first opened, it was the water was bad. Um, a lot of people died of cholera, so they would the, the guys would finish work and they would drink drink the beer instead of drinking the water because it was it was unhealthy to drink the water. Um, so that's the history behind it. They've got a telephone number if you want to contact them, um, order some beers, or maybe, I'm not sure if they do brewery tours, maybe. It's 01685 722 253. It's 01685 722 253. If you want to get in contact with a real ale guide, um, you, can, you can email me at guide at googlemail.com. Oh, it gets me that one. Um, I'm on Twitter. It's Real L Today. Um, get in contact with me. Tell me your views. But I'm going to give this beer. I totally agree with this camera award. Totally agree with their gold medal. This is a first time. This is first time in Real L Guides history. We're going to give this a 10 out of 10. That is a smashing, smashing beer. Um, quite easily, if you're an experienced drinker, um, this would go fantastic with an Indian curry. Indian curry, five or six of these, you got yourself a smashing evening. Um, go for it, really good. Thanks for watching The Real Ale Guide. I'm putting more and more videos um, on YouTube every single week. Um, keep in touch, keep in touch with my site. Um, Subscribe if you like, or leave a comment. Um, if I missed anything out, um, let me know. Email me, give me a shout. I'm looking forward to your views. Thanks for watching The Real Ale Guide. See you again soon. Goodbye now.